Well, we talked about that fight. Toledo native and heavyweight boxer Jared Anderson is only days away from his matchup. While he's in town gearing up for that big fight, he spent some time with a group of local kids, ones who are aspiring to be just like him. In between warm-ups and sparring, a local boxing practice had a special guest drop by. I've never met anybody that's like pro boxing, anything like that, so it's pretty exciting. To see the hometown boy that's about to be the heavyweight champion of the world, that was, that was incredible. Toledo's Jared Anderson is gearing up to fight Charles Martin on Saturday at the Huntington Center. But while he's back in town, he says he likes being able to spend time with other young boxers. I'm happy that I can be a, a great role model for them and um, inspire them to do better, you know, and be better kids so that uh, we can stop the violence in the city. For a lot of the kids, Jared Anderson is their role model. Coming from this area to now having his fight be on the big screen. They know they can follow in his footsteps. I can be like him. Like, I just think my, I just think to myself, like, I could be just like him. Just work more hard, work harder. Yeah. To think one day like that he used to be like us here, like he was a kid who wanted a dream too, so it could happen for anybody. Yeah. Anderson says he doesn't remember people coming to speak to him when he was young. That's why he does it now. He wants to inspire kids and hopes his journey can teach other young boxers to keep going, especially when times get tough. There's plenty of times where like I wanted to give up on this. And so I get like I guess in life it like really teaches you not to give up and stuff. I wanted to give up so many times, but at the same time, like I put so much work into this, like there's no way I could do that. Now, aside from Anderson's fight, two other local boxers will be fighting. It's all happening on Saturday, July 1st at the Huntington Center. We've got a link for tickets and more information on those fights on WTOL.com.